The other day, as I was riding my e-bike, I came across this little hole-in-the-wall burger joint, so I decided to stop for lunch. I pulled my e-bike into the parking lot uh, next to about 10 really sleek, lightweight, traditional pedal road racing bikes. I walked up to the window and ordered my food and got myself a place to sit underneath a patio canopy out there. As I was waiting, the owners of those road bikes, who were all young, fit, and strong-looking riders, started to give me a hard time and chastising me for using an e-bike because they said it was cheating. I don't know what they were worried about because it certainly wasn't cheating them. Now, normally, I wouldn't say anything or just say something like, Who cares? But today, I was feeling a little froggy. So, I said, Look, you guys, you're right. It is cheating. But I gotta tell you, when I was in school, I was a pretty good athlete. And actually, I was one of the stars on my football team. And back in those days, if you were a star, the people in charge would arrange for you to always be academically available to play in the big games. In essence, they found ways to cheat for me to keep me on the field. This was the case throughout most of my school athletic days. And I continued and told them, after I graduated from my cheating days in school, I went on to become a pretty successful construction project manager and engineer. I had a pretty long and prolific career traveling the world using my expertise, all thanks to my cheating days in school to stay academically available. I'm retired now, but due to some simple age-related issues and some medical conditions, I now have many physical limitations. So I started asking myself, how can I get back out there and be physically active again? I thought about my cheating days in school and my cheating days had led me to a great career and a fantastic profession and allowed me to travel the world. So in essence, cheating has been really good to me. So I thought maybe cheating could help me get back physically active again. That's when I decided to cheat and get an e-bike. Now, by cheating with an e-bike, I'm able to be physically active again and just get out there and enjoy life. Also, by cheating with an e-bike, I figure I've probably added about 20 years of healthy life to my lifestyle. So yeah, I'm okay with using an e-bike to cheat. All those roadies just sat there in quiet amazement and could only watch in silence as I walked up to the window and picked up my food and switched on my e-bike and took off. But as I did right away, I did say, Who the heck cares? Enjoy your riding. But for now, it's the old, it's the old gray beard e-bike rider saying, let's hit the road and let's roll. See you later.